The fate of a Lancaster woman and her boyfriend are now in the hands of a judge in one of the most horrific cases of child torture and abuse ever recorded in L.A. County. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero has more on today's closing arguments. Speaking over a series of photos showing Anthony Avalos full of life, then devoid of it, Prosecutor John Hatami accused both of the defendants of being evil. And one defense team agreed, partially. Kareem Leva is evil. He admitted to brutalizing Anthony. He confessed to every single act of violence and torture. Anthony's mother, Heather Barron, and her then-boyfriend, Kareem Leva, face murder, torture, and child abuse charges related to Anthony, who died, and his two siblings, who survived. The siblings testified Anthony was weakened by two weeks of extreme torture in June 2018, then dropped on his head repeatedly on the 18th. Heather Barron called 911 on June 20th. Who leaves a 10-year-old child dying in a room for two days unless they intended to torture and murder him. Heather's defense is that Leva was the abuser and that she was afraid of what he would do if she told anyone. Hatami categorized Leva as the enforcer and Heather as the mastermind. He showed images of Anthony's injuries, many of which are too graphic to share. It's like watching it for the first time every time. It hurts. It hurts like it was four years ago. Which is David Barron, Heather's brother, was among the many who tried to help Anthony and his siblings. In his 2015 call to DCFS, the hotline worker asked how long the abuse had been going on. I can ask him real quick. You guys, how long has Cream been being mean to you guys? A long, a long, a long, a long. A thousand weeks. Leva's attorney tries showing inconsistencies in the siblings' testimony and presents the argument that even though Leva hurt the children, he did not specifically intend to kill Anthony. All sides presented their versions of how Anthony died. No one could or can explain why. Because there is no jury, it is up to the judge to consider all of the evidence, and we expect that he'll reach a verdict as soon as tomorrow, but likely in the next two weeks. In downtown L.A., I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.